Hey, Vic, what would you make of Teddy's start and then Teddy's last drive tonight? Well, that's pretty obvious. It didn't start good. Uh, he was high on his uh, throws, generally speaking, not everyone. But our, you know, our first, at the start of the game, we ran it good, but we weren't throwing it good. And, um, and then we put together the nice drive there with, with Teddy. I believe that was his third drive. And that was good to see. It's good for him to have that and not in the uh, preseason on a sour taste. Coach, what did you see from Cortland Sutton tonight in his first game action? You know, I, I didn't have my eyes on him every play. I do know in the uh, touchdown drive that we had, he obviously caught the touchdown pass, caught a, another pass on their sideline. I, I wasn't watching him every play, so, but he was confident coming in. He told me afterwards that he felt good. He thought he played good. We'll see what the video shows, but I have a lot of confidence in him moving forward. Uh, Vic, uh, going off that, do you think him scoring gives him a confidence boost? And secondly, how do you feel like Vaughn, Vaughn played tonight? Yeah, it definitely gives him a confidence boost just to be out there playing, running routes, out there competing, know he could get hit for the first time. You know, he's, you know he hadn't played since the uh, second game last year, so it was good to get him out there. And it was a bonus that he caught some balls, caught a touchdown, but the, the important thing was just getting him out there playing. Yeah, and I, I think Vaughn was moving around good. I think, um, you know, they got a long drive on us there for the one of their field goals and thought we kind of got a little fatigued there. So, you know, we're going to have to make sure we, can't, we don't get fatigued. Coach, what's the uh, biggest thing you learned about your team in this preseason period training? Camp? Oh, geez. Well, I think we got a good team. And what I mean by team is I think the guys are together. I think they have a good feeling about each other. I think they have a good feeling about our possibilities. And that's important, you know, moving forward. Now we play uh, two games on the road to start off. You know, we're going to be going up to the Giants playing there. And um, it gets real now. But I do think we're, we have had a good camp. They've worked hard. We've had productive practices. And now's the time to go. And I think we've pretty much achieved most of what we wanted to achieve in the training camp time. It seems like there's something that's still bugging him. There's something still bugging him? No. <laughs> uh, Vic, Javante Williams, had you guys just see, kind of seen uh, what you wanted to see out of him, or was he dealing with anything injury-wise? No, he wasn't dealing with anything. We, uh, we wanted to feature Melvin early in the game and then give the other guys, the young guys, a chance. Okay, And we felt good about what Javante's done first couple weeks. Did you want to extend Teddy a little bit for a feel to get comfort you know, with the ones? And, and then how do you evaluate Drew's night? I think we got what we wanted out of Teddy. You know, I wanted to play him two or three series. Hopefully some of those series would have some good amount of plays in, which the last one did. And um, I think he's ready to go. And I think Drew kind of had a similar night that uh, Teddy had it. There was, it was a struggle at first. And then he led us on that uh, touchdown drive there in the second half. You know, Teddy had the advantage of, you know, we were running it pretty good early. We weren't running it good when uh, Drew was in there, his first couple series. So I think they both continued to play like they've been. But, you know, it was we didn't like it at the time. But it's good to overcome adversity. You know, you're not going to win a lot of games in this league 30 to 3 or whatever, whatever our other score was. You know, I'll take them anytime we can get them. But we know what the NFL is like and how many games come down to the end. And um, so I think it was good for them to experience some adversity, too. Oh, I thought Kyle was going to go. Uh, Vic, I guess I have a two part kind of personnel question. How different is, or how much easier is it to set the 53 uh, with only a couple spots maybe up for grabs and then? to have a practice Tuesday with the cut down day, how does that kind of change that work day? For the yeah, we'll adjust the practice on that Tuesday. Um, you're right, because we won't have the practice squad. So it will be an adjusted practice in, in several ways because the um, we're going to have to service each other. Uh, what was the other part of the question? Is it easier than it has been in previous years? you think, set that No, I think it's harder because um, – we have, we have more depth at more positions than we've had in the past. 
Hey, Vic. Albert O uh, took some hits tonight. He hurled a guy, too. Where do you think he's at headed into the regular season? Yeah, I talked to him on the sideline in the second half, asked him how it went, how he felt. And, you know, Albert's not the uh, most uh, uh, flamboyant guy or, you know, to really not, – he's not like Cortland, you know. Cortland, Cortland never has a bad day, and he's always enthusiastic. And Albert told me it went great. He thought it was great to be out there. And when Albert's that enthusiastic, you know it went good. Vic, a couple for you. How, how do you think the defense was able to kind of play off the crowd noise here for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned it to the team just now when I talked to them. I mean, there was 50-some thousand people out there, and um, they were enthusiastic. Um, it was great to have them out there. I can remember in 19 feeling like some of our home games were like playoff games, you know, the atmosphere. And these, they love football here in Denver. They love the Broncos. And now's the time for us to finally give them a good, good team that they're going to be proud of. And then as you watch special teams tonight, you talked about how that was a, a big determining factor. Was that much better in your eyes or what, what's your evaluation? No, you know, I didn't like the, they got a kickoff return early there, which, you know, their first field goal they scored on us was the big plays were the kickoff drive. We got a face mask penalty. And then they hit a screen on us for a good chunk, which was a good play on their part. But, you know, if we don't give them the ball wherever it was, I can't remember where would that drive start. 40? Yeah, that's too much. You know, we, we've got to make it better. We've got to find the players. We've got to get the players we have that we keep covering kicks better and if not we've got to find players that will and you know obviously we need to do a good job of coaching it too yeah coach just wondered what you thought of your uh <clears throat> defense the first you know first stringers out there tonight well we had a really good first drive i believe that was three and out then the second drive was that drive i just went over following the uh, kickoff return then I, the third drive, they got some first downs on us there and got another field goal out of it. And then I think we played a pretty good fourth drive, if I remember right. So I was glad, you know, I wasn't at the time, but I'm glad they faced some adversity. And, um, you know, I'm interested to see the tape when we watched that 11-play drive they had on us. I think we were getting a little tired. So maybe our fatigue police has been doing too much policing. And uh, we need to get these guys in better shape. Vic, I just, uh, since we won't talk to you before Tuesday over here to your right, uh, do you have some tough decisions about injured guys you're going to have to keep for a day before you move them to IR or anything? Yeah, that's a possibility, yes. Well, it that, is. Are you fearful that may cost you a play, a young guy you try to get through waivers? Or Well, you're always fearful of that, but... Um, you don't lose as many as you think in this process. There's always a few league-wide. But, um, you know, f for anybody that claims somebody, they got to cut somebody too. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what our final list is going to look like yet. Um, George and I have talked about it. Uh, but tomorrow will be the uh, real talk, you know. You know, so possibly. Thank you very much, George. All right.